Hey you guys, it's Allie, and today I wanted to do sort of like an undone beachy type of hairstyle. I do feel like that's kind of big right now, kind of that you work really hard to look like you didn't do your hair. So I wanted to do like a soft beachy wave. First off, my hair is naturally curly, so I did blow my hair out. This is second day hair. So I already prepped my hair with a thermal protectant, which you should do whether it's like a thermal protectant serum or a spray. I like to use the KMS 2-in-1 spray. Obviously, if your hair is curly, you can either go ahead and do this technique over your natural curls if you want something a little bit more textured and exaggerated. But being that I did blow my hair out, I'm going to do it over second day hair where it's obviously not perfectly done. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of texture. I have an old video. I can leave the link to that below if you guys wanna take a look on how to blow dry curly hair straight. Like I said, I already prepped my hair with a thermal protectant. So what I'm going to do is just get started. Normally I would be using sectioning clips. However, they are not anywhere close by. They are in the other room. And quite frankly, after being all set up, I just don't want to get up and get it. So I'm just going to take a hair tie. So I'm going to start off section by section. Just take a bunch of like horizontal sections. doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to tie the rest of my hair away. Obviously, if you had a clip, you can just clip it away. The curling iron that I'm going to be using today is a one and a quarter inch. So it's not going to give me super tight curls, but it's not going to give me a really loose wave where it's kind of just like a bend. It's going to give me, for my length, exactly what I'm looking for. So you're just going to take random pieces, wrap it around, and you can leave just the very ends out. Now you're gonna unwrap it and pull it straight a little bit. Take the next section and you wanna alternate in which direction you go. So that one I went away from my face, so I'm just going to wrap it towards my face. If you have a wand, you can go ahead and use that. And again, just pull the ends straight. Being that I don't own a wand that's exactly a one and a quarter inch, and if I do, it's tapered, and that's not exactly the look I'm going for. So I'm just using my curling iron like a wand. I do also have a video of how to take a regular curling spring iron and turn it into a curling wand. I would also leave the link to that below. I just didn't turn it into a wand because sometimes I do like to use this as a regular spring iron. So again, we're taking the next section and doing the same thing leaving just the very ends out, heating it up until you think it holds the shape. Take it out and pull it on the straighter side. You can take fairly big sections if you'd like. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. Now, some of my ends, because it is second day hair, isn't completely smooth. If you do blow your hair out the same day, it should be smooth. So in that case, you can just bring the ends closer to the iron instead of leaving them out, or you can close the clamp on the ends if you'd like. Um, so I just brought a little closer and pulling it just a little straight. As you can see, it's not like perfect waves or perfect curls but it's just a little bit more done than just bedhead. So now you're gonna take the next remaining sections and do the same thing. Taking random pieces and curling them. You can even run your fingers through it as it's kind of still warm just again so it's not that like perfect structured wave or curl. By leaving the ends out and leaving it straight and kind of pulling it straight, it also will kind of give the illusion of outgrown hair, like your hair is on the longer side. And you just wanna take random pieces that just feel a little bit straighter and grab them and just curl them. I actually had my hair waved like this and you would think that because it was slightly of a tighter curl it would appear shorter 
but again like I said since I left the ends out and on the straighter side and kind of relaxed it a little bit it didn't seem as short whereas when I take my hair and do more of like a structured wave I even did like a bigger wave at one point and my hair did appear a little bit shorter so last section and just take any of the pieces that seem a little bit straighter and If you want on the top section or the top layer you can leave it a little bit more structured if you want so you have more of that done undone look so that's actually exactly what I'm going to do I am still leaving the ends out however I'm just not gonna break them up as they're cooling so that way when the waves set they're more structured than if I were to break them up I am also taking smaller sections on the top layer as I just burn my freaking hand. Again, just to give it a little bit more structured without making it look too done. And I'm still alternating at random in which direction the wave is going. Now, if you have shorter pieces in the front, you might not want to hold it there as long, just to give it a softer look. What you can even do in the front section, like I have these little sections here, you can take it and then just kind of curl it like that, like a regular spring iron, to smooth it out and give just the front pieces a little bit more structure. And again, taking that front section, smoothing it and curling it like you would if you were to regularly curl your hair. And break that up a little bit. So now we finish with the curling portion of the hair. Let me move my little cup over here. What I like to do now is I'd like to take either some sort of leave-in conditioner in cream form or some sort of oil or serum and just run it through my ends just because my ends are dry and split and overprocessed, And again, this is an undone messy look, but you still want to put, look, put together. What I'm going to do is take my AG Fast Food. This is a leave-in conditioner. This is meant to be used on wet hair, but I like to use it wet or dry. I just prefer creams currently. Taking a tiny amount and just working it through my hands and running it just on the ends to smooth it out. So you can see it still looks like undone, but not as destroyed <laughs> for, you know, lack of a better term. Now that I add a little bit more moisture back into my ends, you can add more if you feel is necessary. Use your judgment. If you want a little bit more texture at the root, you can go ahead and use some sort of dry shampoo at the root if you'd like. I'm probably just going to leave it just because my ends are already dry so I don't mind if I have a little bit more shine at the root but if you feel like your hair looks a little flat just go ahead and put some dry shampoo at the root so that's completely up to you if you feel like you need that and the last step is probably my favorite uh, you want to go in with some sort of texture spray or beach spray and kind of finish it off you do in my opinion want to use more of a dry spray you don't really let me fix this oh, got distracted you can use like a sea salt spray if it's wet if you'd like but for me personally when my hair gets wet it gets curly and frizzy even though it's curly and a little frizzy but what i'm going to use is my orbe apre beach spray this is beautiful. It adds just the right amount of texture. It's not like gritty. They do have the dry texture spray, which I love. That's amazing for people with baby fine hair that like that textured look. But because my hair is oh so beautifully overprocessed, I don't need that much texture. So I'm going to use the Opry Beach and just kind of take it, spray it, and kind of just break it up a little bit. So you can see on this side it's sprayed and this side it's not. Definitely a little bit more textured. Um, the Opry Beach is really pretty too because it does add shine as well. So it's the wave and shine spray. And I'm just gonna add it to the other side.
Now do you see why I moved my tea? The other texture spray that I love to use as like a finishing kind of beachy spray is the Redken Windblown. I love that and it smells phenomenal as does this. I love it. It has that like signature Orbe scent. And I do also like the L'Oreal Next Day Hair as well. Just to give you guys a little bit of options. You can go ahead and play around and kind of touch up any pieces that you want a little bit more structured or break up pieces that you want less structured. But I love this because this is really just like an effortless, beautiful look that you can dress yourself up if you're feeling really casual. And I think it's still appropriate even if you were a little bit more decked out. You can go ahead and like break it up at the scalp to make it a little bigger if you want. Okay. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this undone, messy, beachy look. If you did enjoy this, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Let me know if there are other types of looks that you guys are interested in seeing. And as always, be sure to stay happy, you guys.